guess what came in. Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to share with you my new love affair. I am just insanely addicted to these little, tiny, little, well, I already love sewing machines, okay? But these little machines just are like these little Singer featherweights. Um, I don't, I just love them. I purchased one of them and I didn't really know how it would feel going to a sewing event and using one of the machines and it just brought me the most joy I could ever have. It was just like I was giddy like a little girl. Um, so now this is my new addiction, okay? I have purchased several of them. I go hunting for them. But in this video, I wanted to share with you how when I receive a machine, how I maintenance the machine and go through it. Now all the products, many of them, I bought at featherweightshop.com. They have so many resources. I'll see you in the just unveiling, unpackaging, cleaning, loving, playing. Okay, let's do this. Beautiful. Her decals are just lovely. She does have a couple little scratches on her. She's this kind of face. This is what she looks like here. I'm going to go through her hole and look at what I need to do to fix her. Because sometimes they'll clean them and they really don't clean them that wood. But if I go through her, we know she's beautiful. She came with her original screwdriver, it looks like it. Um, some really neat feet. And honestly, this stove smells atrocious. Um, she came with tons of bobbins. She does have her bobbin case in there. Um, needles and with her box. Oh, because, oh, oh, they smell bad. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, they smell atrocious. So this is what she came with. Um, clean these bobbins because, oh, they have a smell to them. One of the things you're gonna do is you're gonna take everything you can apart so that you can go ahead and kind of wash it. I'm washing it with water and just Dawn soap so that it could soak and so that any grime or leftover oldness goes away. <laughs> so here's my soap and water. It's just Dawn detergent. I'm gonna put all the feet, bobbins, everything in here. I also have in here is a little brush. You could use a toothbrush, but damn, this stuff smells in here. I'm also going to take this out, the bobbin, and this thread smells too. Ugh. Oh god. I'm going to put this in the water right here. Take this face plate off because they tend to clean it, but they don't clean it right. So we're going to take this plate off. And we're just gonna, do you see how that grease is really dirty right there? We're gonna clean her up and then, she has pretty good feet. She has an old, she needs a new pan, which we're gonna order for her. I order these at Amazon. This is what I'm gonna use to clean the gears. I bought these at the Featherweight shop, and I also bought these. But we're gonna clean her, and then we're gonna grease her. The feet look real good. This is kind of, I'm gonna have to push it away from the gear because it's grabbing the gear right there. I'm gonna turn. Let me turn. 
turn the gears. When I purchased one of my other machines, they said that they couldn't get it working. And the reason it wasn't working is because there was like a clump of thread, like from years ago, caught up in there. So in that little kind of area where the bobbin is, but underneath, thread can get caught. And so you need to make sure you check that and clean it. So she's real clean, but she's also very dry. So I got wipes and I'm just kind of, just clean. After you clean the gears on the bottom, you're also going to grease the bottom. Make sure that you don't over grease because you don't want it to get dried up and clumpy, but grease it enough that's in between those ridges and use your finger. Don't let your finger get caught in there because I did and it hurt, they will pinch you. <laughs> on the bottom of the machine, I also oiled it in all these little ports. If you go to featherweight.com or featherweightshop.com on YouTube, they have where to oil, don't over oil. Making sure all the gears have, in comparison to how dry she was. There she is. Now I don't have the, I don't have one of these. So I'm gonna order it from Featherweight and Light Bulb and They're really easy to put on, but you could order them at featherweight.com. Um, I went ahead and, um, and took this off and it smells. Sometimes your little featherweight will have a stench. <laughs> this is what my old one used to look like. As a backing to it, which has a sticky film. I also did the same thing on the gears on the very top where the thread kind of sits. You're gonna go ahead and use those Q-tips and clean that area off. Also, I used the bigger Q-tips to get the wall of the machine. So if at one time grease and buildup got caught up on the sides, on the frame of the machine, I got that Q-tip and went in there and cleaned it real good. And then I also got that grease again and greased this area. I also put like a little droplet on one of the ear areas because you want, I don't know if it's a bearing, you wanna make sure that it has oil also. After I went ahead and did this, I started brushing all the parts that the machine came with and cleaning them. And after I cleaned them, I dried them off. I also went ahead and started kind of reassembling under the needle plate. Make sure that the little hook that's on the bobbin gets caught in between that little ridge. If not, your sewing machine won't work. I got this polishing product that I purchased. Go ahead and put it on a flannel piece of fabric. And I went ahead and I rubbed that everywhere. I don't know if you need to wait for it to dry. I noticed if I waited for it to dry, it was harder to rub off. So when it's kind of getting a little bit dry, rub it off and go in circular motions back and forth. And this is how I cleaned the whole machine. You can clean with soap and water, but for the way it says to use this product, so I used the product they told me to, and it really does clean all the dirt and grime off, and it also polishes it. Do sections and then rub it off as you go. And I went ahead and got this wax stuff. You put it on, and then as you rub it around, go ahead and, with a different cloth, go back and rub it off. One of the things I learned that is if you push this in and then push, then you can pop the light out. I recommend you replace the light because um, come on. these suckers get really hot. It's a brighter light and it's uh, called uh, daylight light. So it's being out in the sunlight and it doesn't get hot in comparison to this one.
So just make sure that when you get it from wherever you purchase it, that you go through the machine before you put any use into it because you want to make sure that it has good oil and it has great grease on it and that everything that you're using is clean. So that's what I did to my little featherweight. And I do this to every single one that I've received and purchased. Just gone through them. So once you purchase some of the items at featherweight.com or that company, you can reuse them. And then if I want to maintenance my machine, I already have everything. Hmm.